Hello, welcome to Madam YY channel. Today we are going to discuss chapter 1, Matter. So, the learning outcome for today, we will cover how to define matter and how to classify matter into pure substances, which are elements and compounds, and also mixture such as homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture. Metal is anything that has mass and take out space. So when it has mass, we can measure it by using analytical balance or any waging scale. And take out space means that it occupies the volume. Example are earth, animals, trees, atoms, and so on. And there are three steps of matter which are solid, liquid, and gaseous. And the chemistry is a study of the properties of matter and how the matter changes in different conditions. So our solid, liquid and gas, they can change when the temperature changes. So matter can be classified into two big groups, which is mixture. And under mixture, we will cover the homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. So mixture can be separated by physical method such as filtration and then we will get the pure substance. So under the category pure substance, that it, there are compounds. So compound normally can only be separated by chemical method such as electrolysis or heat and the compound will be separated into the elements. So for example, um, a bowl of nuts, so you can see this is an example of mixture and we can separate them individually. Okay, we can choose one by one and they can be separate into the uh, individual nuts, which will be the pure substances. So a mixture is a combination of two or more kinds of matter, each which retains its own composition and properties. For example, mixture of nuts, cereal with milk, salt solution, and also blood. In this slide, we are going to discuss two types of mixture, which is homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixture or uniform mixture are the one which the composition is same throughout the mixture. It means that all the individual substances they are distributed evenly throughout the mixture and they are uniform so another name for mixture is a homogeneous mixture is solution so the solution normally is made up of a larger amount of substance which is called solvent and another smaller amount called solute so this is so we can in this picture you can see the purple color and the blue color atoms they are distributed evenly throughout the uh, throughout the arrangement. So this is one example of a homogeneous mixture which is um, the sugar solution. So when sugar, which we refer to the solute, when it dissolves in water. The solvent so when it dissolves all the sugar particles is distributed evenly in the water molecule so you cannot see any layer in this solution so we call it homogeneous so it looks like there's only one phase okay there's only one phase you can't see a separation layer in this solution so that's how we uh, refer to homogeneous mixture where the composition is uniform and next one, heterogeneous mixture is non-uniform mixture are those which the composition varies throughout and then can be easily separated into individual substance. So means that the distribution of the component is not even. Okay, you can see um, it's, you might see two layers or you might see two faces in the heterogeneous mixture. So these are the uh, arrangement of the atoms in the heterogeneous mixture. 
So you can see here, they are more, uh, they are more blue color atoms. Sorry, they are more color atoms, which um, which is at the bottom of the of the purple color atoms. So for example, iron, ceiling, and a sand is a type of heterogeneous mixture. So it means that we can see clearly with our eyes, okay, there are two different components in the mixture, which we call it heterogeneous. Can you classify the examples below into homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture? So a mixture of nuts is heterogeneous mixture. Cereal with milk is heterogeneous mixture. And for salt solution, so you can't see any separation of layer and the mixture is uniform. So it's a homogeneous mixture. And also our blood is a homogeneous mixture. So the next one, we're going to see another a category which is pure substances. So pure substances is a homogeneous sample that always has the same composition and properties regardless of its sources. So the substance can only be homogeneous and have constant composition. But under pure substance, they can classify as compound or element. Compound is a homogeneous substance made up of two or more elements chemically combined. So for example, salt, our salt and ACL. So salt is made of sodium and chloride ion, which is combined by ionic bond. So there are two elements in the salt, which is Na and Cl. And for example, water. So water, the for chemical formula is H2O. So our water is also made from hydrogen and oxygen uh, elements. So there are two elements in the water molecule which is chemically bonded. So a lot of students always confuse between compound and molecule uh, and mixture. So mixture is the mixture is where they are physically combined and compound they are chemically combined so in order to break the compound we need the chemical uh, we need to use electrolysis or any heating method and the characteristic of a compound is elements in a compound are combined in a definite proportion by mass so this proportion is the same is in all the samples of the compound so for example, water. So water, okay, so no matter any type of water, okay, for, for example, all water, the elements must be made from hydrogen and oxygen atoms, okay, hydrogen oxygen element, and the proportion must be one oxygen and two hydrogen. So they are combined in a definite proportion. And the chemical and physical properties of a compound are different from the individual components which form the compound so for example water is formed from the element individual the, co the individual components is hydrogen and oxygen so water at, at room temperature water is in liquid state but at room temperature the hydrogen the hydrogen gas and the oxygen gas is in gaseous state so means like the compound the properties is different from the elements that make up the compound so we can see another example here which is a sodium chloride compound so sodium chloride compound there are two elements Na and Cl so when we decompose it okay when we break it down by electrolysis we will get sodium metal and also chlorine gas so the chemical properties and the physical properties of these two individual components is different from the compound so when they form into a compound, their properties will change totally. And next one, we are looking at element. So element is a pure substance that cannot break down into any other substance by chemical or physical means. So it means that element will be the more simplest. Okay, will be the, the more simplest unit. So it cannot be break down anymore. So element means that it's only made from one type of substance so we say are the simple substances and it can be identified by its specific physical and chemical properties 
So particles or element is an atom. So, so means that our element is made from atoms. Okay, it's made from one type of atoms. And our matters, so means that uh, everything in our uh, surround earth, okay, around earth, matter which they can be made from one element or combination of elements. Here is an here is the example of element which is gold. So gold is an element which is made from the gold atoms. So you can see gold is only made of one type of atom which is gold. And this is the arrangement of the gold atoms in solid state. So the gold atoms are arranged and packed in a uh, orderly manner. And here we also have the hydrogen hydrogen molecule which is an element. So hydrogen molecule is only made from hydrogen atom. So it means that it's made from one type of atom. So this hydrogen will be example of element. So, you, so hydrogen molecule, we call it molecule because it is formed by the two hydrogen atoms uh, covalently bonded. So the two hydrogen atoms bond. So when you have two atoms combined together, when you have more than one atoms combined together, we call it molecule. And also oxygen. So oxygen is made from oxygen, uh, made from oxygen atom only, and oxygen is made from two oxygen atoms. So we call it molecule. So it means that when you have more than two atoms combined together. It's called molecule, but it's still made from the same type of atom. So it's still uh, categorized as element.